three resistors are connected between the terminals A and B, having some potential difference. We know the resistance of the resistors R1, which is equal to R2, equal to R3, that is equal to R0. The resistances are the same. And the resistor R1 consumes power P1, which is equal to P0. We need to figure out the power consumed by the resistor R3. Okay, and we need to express that in terms of P0, which is the power consumed by resistor R1. Okay, so we'll get into this, but before we do that, pause the video and give this one a try first. All right, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now, all right, what are we what are we being asked? We are being asked the power consumed by the resistor R3. So whenever I see power, I I mean I always go back to the same formula that that I really know here. So power that is equal to I square, I square or R or V square or V square by R, right? Um, if we need to figure out the power consumed by resistor R3, we can express that as P3. P3, which is equal to I3 square. So let's say the current that is flowing in this branch is I3. Current in this branch is I2. And current here is I1. So P3, we need to figure out what P3 is. P3 is really equal to I3 square into R3. We know R3. R3 is equal to R0. Okay, so let's, instead of R3, let's just replace that with R0. R0. Now, we don't really know what I3 is, right? So let's try to think how can we figure out I3? What all can we see in the circuit? Well, we can see that these two resistances, they are the same, R2 is equal to R3, and they are connected in parallel. So using Ohm's law, which was V equals to IR, or I which is equal to V by IR, we can say that the current in these two branches will be the same. I2 will be equal to I3. I2 will be equal to I3. And by that logic, I1 really is, is the double. It's the double of I2 or I3. So let's let's write that. Instead of I3, uh, first let me write I3. This is equal to I1 by 2. I1 is really double of I3. Okay, so instead of I3, instead of I3, let's write I1 by 2. I1 by 2. So this becomes I1 square by 4 into R0. Now if we figure out I1, we can try to express P3 in terms of P0. Let's go to the second point here. We know that resistor R1 consumes power P1 which is equal to P0. So this is really equal to I1 square R0. And I1 square can be written as P0 by R0. Now, if we replace I1 square over here, right over here, let's see what do we get. We get P3. This is equal to I1 square. Instead of that, we write P0, P0 divided by R0. There was R0 before, and this is being divided by 4. So R0 gets cancelled, and this comes out to be equal to P0 divided by 4. So this is option 1. 